Well, Fox News alert, brand new allegations of plagiarism piling up against Harvard's embattled president, Claudine Gay, as the Ivy League University faces growing calls for action in light of the serious accusations. Yep. Welcome to a brand new hour of America's Newsroom. I'm Dana Perino. How you doing? How you feeling? Great. All right. That's right. <laughs> Capital G. Frank, yep. thanks, man. Frank Siller, Merry Christmas. Thank you, Frank. Uh, I'm Bill Hemmer. Good morning at home. Harvard's got a big problem as new reporting reveals mounting evidence of academic misconduct by Claudine Gay. She managed to keep her job mm. despite previous claims of plagiarism and widespread outrage over testimony on the Hill. Right. Uh, at that point, she refused to condemn calls on campus for Jewish genocide, saying it depends on context. It's racist. I mean, we have, no one has produced a shred of evidence that shows that the sole qualification uh, that um, uh, President Gay had was that she is a black woman. That's insulting. Um, it defies logic and the fact that um, she's clearly qualified and really I, I, I'm perplexed to try to figure out what does race have to do with the criticism that she hasn't handled uh, the protests on her campus correctly. What's happening people? Buzz here. Claudine Gay. Just the other day she was grilled about uh, anti-Semitism and now she's being accused of plagiarism. Claudine Gay is a uh, president over at Harvard, Woke Ivy League School, and apparently she's uh, plagiarizing other individuals and not giving them credit for it. And she's been doing this for years, allegedly. Let's take a look at this. A Fox News alert, brand new allegations of plagiarism piling up against Harvard's embattled president, Claudine Gay, as the Ivy League University faces growing calls for action in light of the serious accusations. Yep. Welcome to a brand new hour of America's Newsroom. I'm Dana Perino. How you doing? How you feeling? Great. All right. That's right. <laughs> Capital G. Frank, yep. thanks, man. Frank Siller. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Frank. Uh, I'm Bill Hemmer. Good morning at home. Harvard's got a big problem as new reporting reveals mounting evidence of academic misconduct by Claudine Gay. She managed to keep her job mm. despite previous claims of plagiarism and widespread outrage over testimony on the Hill. Right. Uh, at that point, she refused to condemn calls on campus for Jewish genocide, saying it depends on context, and said that repeatedly in that appearance. So here's the bombshell. This is why I was looking up ahead, because yesterday the school received a complaint containing dozens of examples like this, that claiming Gay quoted or paraphrased authors without proper attribution, which could force the school to at least open an investigation. Something tells me it's not over, huh? Molly Lyons on that. She's live in Newton, Mass. Today, Molly, good morning. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Data. These additional allegations of plagiarism by Harvard's President Claudine Gay are coming from reportedly a professor at another university who, quote, requested anonymity for fear of retaliation. This according to the Washington Free Beacon, noting that Harvard University received this complaint you're talking about on Tuesday detailing over 40 alleged cases in which Gay quoted or paraphrased authors without proper attribution. Examples are described as, quote, missing quotation marks around a few phrases or sentences to entire paragraphs lifted verbatim. We reached out to Harvard for comment. We have not heard back. Gay recently survived those public calls from notable alumni and donors to resign after she failed to state during a congressional hearing that calling for the genocide of Jews on campus would be against school rules. After her follow-up apology, the Harvard Corporation, that's the uni university's governing body, stood by Gay, affirming confidence in her leadership last week while acknowledging, quote, a few instances of inadequate citation in her work. The student newspaper, the Harvard Crimson, has reported extensively on the allegations against Gay, including noted noting Harvard's guidelines on plagiarism and the Boston Globe editorial board writes, did Claudine Gay plagiarize or not? Harvard should be clear. And also in Cambridge, MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, joins, uh, joins this list added freshly to the updated list of more than two dozen universities being investigated by the U.S. Department of Education for discrimination in the wake of Hamas's October 7th attack on Israel. Dana, Bill. Thank okay. you, Molly. Molly Lyon there, Newton Mass. Uh, I said the story's not over for a reason. That's because we keep on finding more, yeah. more stuff. Jason um, Riley yeah. of the Wall Street Journal had a piece yesterday. It, was, it said, why, yeah. Har why Harvard can't fire Claudine Gay? He makes some really interesting points, but then yeah. these new allegations keep coming forward or new evidence, and maybe they will have to revisit. You know, I find it hilarious that people like Claudine Gay can do these kinds of things without any repercussions. And when, when something happens, when someone finds out and they dig this stuff out, you know, and they say, hey, look at this lady. She did this or, or this person did that. Then people are like, whoa, 
No way. This is real? Yeah, it's real. And then, of course, you got these race bears saying that what she did wasn't, wasn't wrong, that they're just coming after her because of her skin. If someone's coming after you because of their skin, then, of course, yeah, they're wrong. But I don't think people are coming after this individual because of her skin. They're coming after her because she stole someone's work and didn't give them credit. That's wrong, people. Clearly, 100% wrong. We should be coming up with ideas on our own without anyone else's help. And if you can't do that, then you're not going to be in Harvard, right? No affirmative action. You shouldn't be getting there, you know, any college based on your skin. If you're in a college based on your skin, you should be ashamed of yourself because you can't get in there on your own merit, on your own intelligence. Seriously, let's take a look at this. Are we going to get in trouble with the president of Harvard for letting us? <laughs> <laughs> Just say genocide is bad. Yeah, I can't is, do it. I can't. Come it's, on. It's so good sometimes. See, she got busted for plagiarizing today. No. Who did? The president of Harvard. What was for, for saying genocide is, is right. My no, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, That's, Hitler said that. She plagiarized her dissertation. Oh, oh really? Oh, yeah. shit. Harvard's got some great talent out there. Yikes. Well, yeah. she's gone now, right? I think they've fired her. I don't think so. I no. think some of them are gone and some of them aren't. What is the what's the latest on those three ladies? We should play that video because the video is fucking. It's insane. wild. The congressman is like, I, what? What? Yeah. It's <laughs> insane. I will ask you one more time. Damn. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Harvard's rules of bullying and harassment? Yes or no? Anti-Semitic rhetoric. When it and is it anti-Semitic rhetoric? rhetoric anti-semitic rhetoric when it crosses into conduct that amounts to bullying harassment wow they can't do it mm -mm. i can't believe this individual is still employed at harvard one of the most prestigious schools in the country i don't know maybe she's there because she's black maybe they feel bad for the minorities they do they did that affirmative action right they're okay with letting dumb people in their colleges and dumb down america with these apparent phds that they didn't actually earn Maybe they all plagiarized everything, right? This is crazy. Like, if you cannot differentiate between genocide and conduct, you should therefore be disqualified from any position at any prestige school or any college from the top to the bottom, all the way down to the community college. This individual should be fired or investigated for these, uh, these acts, right? You can't go around and plagiarize and they go around, oh, I don't know what genocide is. Is it conduct or is it not? Do they have to commit the genocide for it to be conduct? You can't have people like this on any board or any kind of president position anywhere. And they can't differentiate between that while plagiarism. Maybe that's how she uh, has been doing operating all her life. Plagiarizing everything all the way from high school. But let's face it, people. This is uh, something that uh, educators are battling across the country. AI is real smart and it's picking up chat PT. Or chat GPT, excuse me, chat GPT, for example, educators battle plagiarism as 89% of students admit using OpenAI's chat GPT for homework. This is from Forbes. Now, I'm not saying what she did is okay because everyone else do it. I'm just saying if you're going to be at the highest, you know, top of the echelon Ivy League school, then you can at least not plagiarize or use AI or anything. Check this out. 48% of students admitted to using chat GPT or at home test or quizzes. 53% had a write an essay and 22% had a write an outline for a paper. 72% of college students believe that chat GPT should be banned from college networks. New York, Seattle, Los Angeles have all blocked the service from their public schools. 82% of the college professors are aware of chat GPT. 72% of college professors while aware of chat GPT are concerned about its impact on cheating. Over a third, 34% of all educators believe that chat GPT should be banned in schools and universities, while 66% support students having access to it. Wonder why. Meanwhile, 5% of educators say that they have used chat GPT to teach a class. Wow, shocking. And 7% have used the platform to create writing prompts. This open AI is concerning people because if we're just going to go around and willy nilly use artificial intelligence and act like it's not an issue, then, we, then all these schools, prestigious Ivy Leagues, trade schools, community colleges, all these degrees mean nothing because you had the help of someone else who's clearly smarter than you and you couldn't do it based on your own merit. And of course, we got the race baiters, race hustlers at CNN. They have to uh, make excuses for why Claudine Gay is still employed at Harvard. Oh, they're coming after her because of her skin or because she's a woman. 
a black woman. This is insane, people. You can't have people have positions of power or any position at all, any place where they're being paid a salary at any public or private school, and they be there based on the merit of their skin and not on their own, you know, intelligence. If you can't keep a position or acquire a position based on who you are, then you don't need to be there. It's point blank and simple as that. Take a look. CNN Harvard President Claudine Gay is clearly qualified and questioning that statement is racist. Woo, racist. Fun fact. False. Claudine Gay has written only 11 papers in her career and nearly all of it about race, gender, or identity. Wow, shocking, guys. I can't believe that someone would do that. That's insane. And she's the president of Harvard. Whoa. That number is what you would expect for an average assistant professor at a state college, not an Ivy League president. Of those 11 papers, five contain plagiarism. Hmm. That's strange, right? Let's take a look at this CNN segment. It's racist. I mean, we have no one has produced a shred of evidence that shows that the sole qualification uh, that um, uh, President Gay had was that she is a black woman. That's insulting. Um, it defies logic. And the fact that of those presidents who all came under intense scrutiny, that only one has been called out as a so-called diversity or affirmative action hire just speaks to what black women in this country have gone through historically and continue to go through every day. Um, she's clearly qualified and really, I, I, I'm perplexed to try to figure out what does race have to do with the criticism that she hasn't handled uh, the protests on her campus correctly. Um, they just see this. Race has nothing to do about nothing. I hate it when these people start talking about racist or race that or racist reason, this skin color and transgender or sexual orientation is the reason why this, this stop with the bullshit. Just on your character alone. Just focus on your character. That's it. None of this other crap. This has an opening to, to further so racial division um, oh. and to further their campaign of trying to attack any efforts um, around diversity and uh, anti-racism. Ah, uh, these people. What is it with these idiots over here? These talking heads, they think they can go and talk to millions of people and claim that it's racist. What do you mean it's racist? Why? Why is it racist? Because she plagiarized someone else? What do you mean? Is it affirmative action? Is that why she got her uh, her job? Because she's black? Seriously, what what's the deal with these people? I don't, I don't understand. Let me know in the comments what you think about old Claudine Gay and this Harvard plagiarism scandal. Like, comment, subscribe, and buzz you. See you on the next one.